Hello, in this video, I want to show you an incredible book. It is called All the Math You Missed But Need to Know for Graduate School. And this is the second edition. It was written by Thomas Garrity. So I also have um, the first edition of this book. And then I got the second edition. And it's a great book. The reason I like this book so much is because it basically gives you an overview of different areas of mathematics. And you won't find that in any other book. I don't know, I mean, there are books that do that, but I don't know of another book, you know, exactly like this one. This one is different enough that I think it merits special attention. I think it's it's a masterpiece. This is a great book. Um, as a collector of math books, I have a lot of math books, and a lot of the math books I have are very similar. Um, this one, this one is not, this one is not. Again, this is written by Thomas Garrity. I actually, had the opportunity of interviewing him uh, several years ago. Um, he's really cool. And if you uh, search for him on YouTube, he has videos where he talks about mathematical maturity and stuff. I think that's that's really cool. Uh, he's a good guy. So here, here are the topics. I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see a little bit better. There we go. So we've got linear algebra, real analysis, differentiating vector valued functions, Point set topology, classical Stokes theorem. Wow, look at all these topics, right? Tons of topics. Linear algebra, that's the first one, right? So then it basically touches on all of these things. So linear algebra, and then it goes to real analysis. Three is, you know, um, differentiating vector valued functions. So it just goes through each, each one. And then there's a nice preface. Let's look at the preface. It's a very well-written book. It's a fun book. That's really what this, that's, that's, I really should emphasize that. It's a fun book. I have another, I have a couple other books like this that are just like fun to read. Um, and I think this is a book that's fun to read. I'm pretty sure I've read almost the entire thing. It's been a while. Um, but I also have, again, I have the first edition as well. And I read some sections uh, more than once. Math is exciting. We are living in the greatest age of mathematics ever seen. In the 1930s, there were some people who feared that the rising abstractions of the early 20th century would lead either to mathematicians working on sterile, silly intellectual exercises or to mathematics splitting into sharply distinct subdisciplines, similar to the way natural philosophy split into physics, chemistry, biology, and geology. But the very opposite has happened. Since World War II, it has become increasingly clear that mathematics is one unified discipline what were separate areas now feed off each other. Learning and creating mathematics is indeed a worthwhile way to spend one's life. Math is hard. Oh, I love this guy. Unfortunately, people are just not that good at mathematics. It's true. Math is really hard. While intensely enjoyable, it also requires hard work and self-discipline. It does. It does. This is great. I know of no serious mathematician who finds math easy. In fact, most, after a few beers, will confess how stupid and slow they are. This is one of the personal hurdles that a beginning graduate student must face, namely how to deal with the profundity of mathematics in stark comparison to our own shallow understandings of mathematics. Wow, this is beautiful. This is in part why the attrition rate in graduate school is so high. At the best schools with the most successful retention rates, usually only about half of the people who start eventually get their PhD. Even schools that are in the top 20 have at times had 80% of their incoming graduate students not finish. This is in spite of the fact that most beginning graduate students are, in comparison to the general population, amazingly good at mathematics. Yeah, and it just uh, get the book. It's worth it. Uh, I'm going to keep reading this, but I'm going to show you something else because I can just keep reading the entire book. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description, by the way, in case you want to check out this book. It is awesome. So this is really cool, too. This book has a lot of cool stuff. So there's something else later that's also really cool but, that I'll show you. But look at this. This is on the structure of math. If you look at articles in current journals, the range of topics seems immense. How could anyone even begin? Sorry, I got to give it a whiff. Ah, amazing. To make sense out of all of these topics. And indeed, there is a glimmer of truth in this. People cannot effortlessly switch from one research field to another. But not all is chaos. There are at least two ways of placing some type of structure on all of math. So I love this. Equivalence problems. So if you've, if you've studied a lot of math, just stop and think about it for a moment, right? Do you see how there are equivalence problems in different areas of math, right? And then that's what this is basically saying, right? Mathematicians want to know when things are the same 
or when they are equivalent. What is meant by the same is what distinguishes one branch of mathematics from another. For example, a topologist will consider two geometric objects, technically two topological spaces, to be the same if one can be twisted and bent, but not ripped into the other. Thus, for a topologist, we have the following. To a differential topologist, two geometric objects are the same if one can be smoothly bent and twisted into the other. By smooth, we mean that no sharp edges can be introduced. Then we have the following. Yeah, pretty cool. And then here it goes, talks about the differential geometer. And then there's more, right? There's more that's really cool. It talks about topological spaces, um, you know, equivalence problems, functions, equivalence problems in physics. And then it gives you a brief summary of the topics, which is really, really cool, right? So this is helpful because it'll talk about each topic, uh, linear algebra, real analysis. You know, what, what is real analysis? Let's just look at that. It's not too long to read. This is the basic definitions of a limit. Continuity, differentiation, and integration should be known and understood in terms of epsilons and deltas. Using this epsilon delta language, you should be comfortable with the idea of uniform convergence of functions, okay? Then um, point set topology, classical Stokes theorem, curvature for curves and surfaces, geometry, countability in the axiom of choice, elementary number theory, algebra, algebraic number theory, complex analysis. And then we have analytic number theory, Lebesgue integration, Fourier analysis, differential equations, combinatorics and probability theory, algorithms and category theory. Uh, and then this is cool, so like, look at this. So at the beginning of each chapter, he does this. So the basic object in linear algebra, that's gonna be vector spaces, okay? That's basically a set uh, with some uh, operations um, and some axioms. You have the vector space axioms and that uh, creates a vector space. The basic map is uh, a linear transformation. Linear transformations, these are uh, maps uh, where the domain and codomain are, are vector spaces, and uh, they satisfy a property, and that's what makes them um, linear transformations. Uh, there's, there's a definition. Equivalences uh, for the invertibility of matrices. That's the basic goal. So here it talks about the vector space Rn. And it actually teaches you the mathematics. So now it's not like super in-depth. You're not going to come out of this being like a rock star, but... It's good knowledge. I really like this book. I think it's a wonderful book. And the audience, I mean, I think if you know some math, you can buy this book and read it and learn. The more you know, the better. Here, here he talks about vector spaces and linear transformations. Let's look at this. I set V as a vector space over the real numbers R if there are maps. There's a map from R cross V into V divided by A dot V or AV. That's scalar multiplication. And then another one from V cross V into V. This is a vector addition then you have these properties here. So basically it's a set with two operations, you know, one called addition, one called scalar multiplication that satisfies um, these properties here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So yeah, there's an element zero uh, for each V and V, there's an element negative V, it's the inverse. Um, the addition is commutative. <clears throat> you have the distributive law uh, and then you have associativity like this which is pretty cool. And then you have another uh, distributive law there. So pretty, uh, pretty cool, pretty, uh, pretty useful. Here's the definition of a linear transformation. And it gives you examples and stuff. So you do learn from, from this book. So, and that's just linear algebra, right? So it has, it has calculus, you know, because it has analysis. Here's the fundamental theorem of calculus. It's really cool. Yeah, it's got a lot of stuff. So an implicit function theorem, rings. I mean, you can learn some serious math uh, from, from this book. Now, again, you're not gonna become an expert, but um, it's, it's, it's useful. And, and you know, this is meant for beginning graduate students. Like, you know, like, oh, hey, you know, if you're going to grad school, you know, this is what you need to know. But anyone can use this book because it's a book, you can buy it, right? So. It's a wonderful survey of mathematics, I think, and that's, that's, that's how I think of this book. Um, and I think it can open your eyes to different things. You know, you can pick up this book and you start reading something and you say, hey, that's really cool. And then you, you buy some books on that subject and then you start, you know, really learning some stuff, you know. Um, it just kind of opens your mind to the different things that are out there in mathematics. Anyways, 
Um, pretty cool book. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, also, I have math courses. Check them out. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. Um, if you get them, uh, please use the links from my website. They're on Udemy. But if you use my links, you will get a low price. And it helps me. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.